So then the next thing is let's go to the settings to create a quote now. Um, we're gonna start with by room and then square footage is a little bit more complicated. It, it's easier to sell, but it, it does take you understanding your production rates and understanding that. So what, we're gonna just kind of go through this a little bit fast. Just remember, we're gonna have additional courses to dial this in. We're right at the hour point. So I think we're gonna be right at an hour and a half today to get through this. So um, the first setting is scope of work. So this is the, you know, the name that you're calling it. It could be whatever you want, right? So general cleaning, routine cleaning, uh, top to bottom, whatever you call stuff, you can do this. The scope group is where this is organized. And the QuickBooks item that, that it's associated with is now available. You can actually um, really dial in your QuickBooks items. So if you have, um, if you have different classes in QuickBooks as well, um, if you have items that have similar names, uh, you might want to put in like a hyphen, like uh, house cleaning Ames versus house clean house cleaning Ankeny. Uh, my friend Sarah uh, Thompson has two branches, and she might want to separate out the different branches that she does. So she might want to create a QuickBooks item uh, for each one of those uh, each one of those things. That would be available here, so you could so you can have very granular data as to where your money is coming from. Uh, you decide now whether you're quoting by room or square foot. Um, this next choice here is room deep clean rotation. I don't know that many of us are using this feature, but what this does is if you are quoting by room, it rotates the rooms that your technicians see that they need to do ex pay extra attention to on each visit. And it, it automatically goes through those. It allows you to charge more to those customers for an additional service. Um, if you're not using that, just set it to never. If you are going to use rotational deep, deep cleaning, uh, you'd rotate it. If you are doing a deep clean, you might want to set that to always so that your technicians will have those items highlighted that, they're, that they are deep clean items. So that is a, uh, that is a feature that you, you might use from time to time. I'm not, you know, I'm not using it as even much as I'd like to. I've I've thought it through a lot of ways and just haven't ever pulled the trigger on it. The next, uh, the next thing on this general tab is the technician settings. So um, this allows you to have different plan team size for different services that you have. So if on your deep cleans, you uh, on that scope of work, you might have two people, you can plan for two. Um, if, if always you just plan, you know, team one, team one sizes and you share jobs, you can just set everything to, to one. Uh, just a, a pro tip on your efficiency factor here on this technician efficiency factor is set it a little bit lower than what you'd actually like to hit. That will help you with the planning, the revenue production planning in Made Central because it'll lower the number of hours that show up as, as unused basically. Um, so the lower this number is, the, the lower the number of unused hours will be, will be displayed. The reason for that is, is that on any given day, you know, even if you are 85 or 90% efficient with how well you schedule, um, employees call out sick, you know, things like that. So this is kind of a way to hack that, to put a lower number in so that your planning would be, would be more accurate. Do whatever you like, but I recommend a slightly lower number there. Uh, set the pay type. So you can have different pay types for every scope that you have. So some, some type of work can be fee split. Some type of work can be hourly or commit, like whatever you'd like to do here, you can, you can do. And then you can also set a training position factor. This does not affect their pay per se, but it affects the way that they are displayed on the, uh, on the job schedule board. It'll stretch the jobs accordingly, uh, you know, for the time. And then it'll give the technicians uh, more allowed hours if they're set as, so for example, it's a four hour job and you've got a captain and trainee, instead of it saying that it'll take two hours, if it's set to half, it'll tell them that they have three hours to do the job. So, so if you say don't factor training into the into the time, it'll show four hours if there's two people there and one of them is a training. So uh, you have four choices here. I guess fifth choice is they count as a normal employee. So that's that's something you can set up. If you are going to be selling multiple services online and you want to make them stand out is this is where you can actually uh, put on some online marketing to make these stand out. So where it says residential cleaning right here now, we can actually 
let's see. Oh, you know what? That's that's a lower, that's a level below. It's actually right here. So this is the general, this is the general cleaning right here. You can add this marketing text like recommended. You can have uh, some additional text to help better explain what it is, general cleaning best after a deep clean. So you can actually um, add all of that text. So that's the tooltip. The icon you can select uh, from the list again and add the, rec the recommended text or whatever you'd like to do. Ribbon colors can be any of these choices or your brand color. Uh, the brand color is the color you've selected inside of Made Central for all of your, um, your dashboards in Made Central. So like you see how this button is blue here, that's your, that every company is different. Like the way that you see Made Central is customized to the colors you've chosen. So you can always select your brand color uh, for these as well. So that's the main choices as far as the general setting. So a basic tab, technician, online quoting. So just remember there is a breadcrumb here and then you can continue over to, to, to refine this as much as you'd like. If you are quoting by rooms, you probably need to, to have factors to adjust the price for different frequencies. So um, if you're quoting by square footage, you probably want to just have all of these factors be one because you're going to fa you're going to create the production times a little bit differently with quoting by square feet. You can decide now whether you want to show these for online or office. Uh, if some of them are just shown, you know, one or the other, right? So, uh, you know, by selecting these boxes, you can decide whether you want to show these online or just in your office. You can also add some uh, marketing text like save 25%, um, you know, and have a ribbon color of, you know, whatever you'd like here, one of these choices or your brand color. Uh, How if, would you adjust that based off of room size? I'm sorry, I, I didn't follow what you if you're quoting by If you're quoting by rooms uh, versus square footage, it's going to be different on how you think of factors here for, um, for frequency. So let me, let me, I will diverge here for just a second. So company scopes of work, open a new tab. So if I'm looking at a quoting by square feet, you, you normally, so when you're quoting by rooms, you see the rooms are gone now because you put in a time for a room. When you're quoting by square feet, you're trying to basically come up with production times. So so if I say that I can clean a thousand square feet in 483, you know, 483 square feet per hour here is what that box means is, is um, if, if I divide that by 483, that's, it's going to take 2.1 hours roughly to clean that house. So your, your, your goal here is to create production times with, with uh, the different um, matrices that you have created um, in, in your, uh, your price matrices. But Made Central doesn't really think of it as like your price matrix isn't the controlling thing because price is not the thing that we're trying to come to in Made Central. We, we wanna get a price, but we want that price to be based on a production time. So this will take some thought a little bit. Like if you're, if you're used to just saying, well, a uh, thousand square feet home is 150 bucks. Well, okay. Well, how much do you want to charge per hour? So if, if the idea was that we wanted to get that to be three hours, then uh, for an every, you know, an every two week house, it might be 333 square feet uh, would, would create that production rate. So this will take a little bit of thought if you're going to quote by square feet, but the idea is um, that you only have to make one choice at that point to come up with a price. So there's a note here that kind of explains it. Um, basically, the number below represents the number of square feet a single technician can clean in a single hour for the square footage house. In general, the bigger the home, the bigger the number, and the less frequent, the less small are the numbers. So for an every two week service at a 2200 square feet home, the square feet per labor hour is 675, populated at the left, I guess, uh, if you were going to put uh, what to every two weeks. So if in the example, if we had 675 here, uh, so the total labor hours would be 325. So, so 2,200 square feet divided by 675. And so then the price would be multiplied by the time 
to come up with what you're going to charge the customer. So we're always going to try and come up with a production price first, and then you're going to you're going to apply your pricing to that so that you have very accurate quotes and your your labor content is correct for each job. So quoting by room, quoting by room or by square footage is the reason I said that all of these things would be one is because you're you're creating the variation here um, based on the frequency, like how much cleaning you can produce. If you have additional factors here, those will interact and add more time in addition to uh, those factors you create. So a little complex, but it'll make more sense as you dive in and play with it. Quoting by rooms would just be the same as it, it was before if you were quoting by rooms. All of your default rooms need to be set if you're quoting by rooms and you need to have some production times. So I personally did not like quoting by rooms when I started. I'll be honest with that. I didn't understand it. I didn't quite get the concept. But what I love about it is now is that it creates um, it creates these room logs based on what we quote. And I don't have to ask a customer, do you have a kitchen, a master bath? These default rooms populate what's available, what, you know, what we quote them on. And these things, you know, control the time. And my, and my technicians now see a room log uh, of all these different things. So I personally made the switch to quoting by square footage, to quoting by rooms, once I better understood um, the power of this. And, you know, it's, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a choice in how you run your business. I get it. And we want to give you as much choice as possible. This is just my you know, my way, the way I've chosen to do it. So if you are quoting by rooms, you need to, again, set the default rooms. Uh, so the available rooms can drag into the default rooms here. Uh, you know, if you don't want a room in your default rooms, you can just drag it out uh, down to the available rooms. So again, basement, I will, maybe I'm going to say that's a default room. Unlikely, right? But here we go. Um, what else might be a default room? Uh, so then, you know, a foyer, hall, stairs, laundry room, all of those can be default rooms. And you can have other rooms that you've created based on rooms that you've built in Made Central, and you can drag those into your default room. So when you have a room set as a default, when you're creating a quote, those will be what's creating the price for the customer. And it'll multiply by other factors like frequency that you've, that you've chosen. The next, the next page is rates. So rates is where you can kind of dial things in a little bit. One thing that we didn't talk about too much is you set, in a, you set a base hourly rate for Made Central and you can even create a, a, a target price. Uh, this is also where you can control your skip fees and your lockouts. Um, but some of you charge uh, different prices based on the frequency of service. So let's say for the example, we showed that rates was $60 for, um, for our base rate, but if somebody chooses every week, okay, we'll, we'll do 55. If somebody chooses every four weeks, we could actually have a $65 rate and it could be, that would override what we have here at the, at the rates. So again, on the frequencies, you can set both an hourly rate and a minimum rate that would override the, uh, the, the time here if you need to. Extras is where you can create things like, if you are quoting online, things like adding windows or um, a first time clean option. If you're gonna kind of do a, a one branch uh, quote where um, an example of this would be like the way I quote would be, um, let me go back a step. I could have this deep clean be required and it would, on my first time cleaning, it would double the price basically a little bit more than that uh, here. And this box wouldn't even really be shown because it's a required, uh, it's a required item now. So you can configure, uh, you can configure things like that. All of these can be, you can change the order of how they show up online as well. Um, you can decide whether you're going to show any of these things you've created for either the office or the online. So if for some reason um, you've cluttered this up with a lot of things and you just don't want all of that stuff to be on your quote, um, you can turn these off for office or online. 
You can also disable them, uh, you know, especially if you've been at it for a while on Made Central and you've created a lot of these things that you're not going to use anymore. You can disable those as well uh, so that they're not kind of cluttering up your, your system. So for any of these things that you're creating, um, let's look at one that we've done. So like Windows here. Oh, they clicked on oven, I guess. Uh, clicked on oven. So you can set it up as a cleaning oven. It can be either a one-time or recurring when a customer, when you're doing a quote for somebody. But what you're setting here is what it said as default. Um, you can get, you know, you can get really uh, granular with things like, you know, if the square footage is how you're creating price, you could, um, you know, have have square footage be what determines uh, what this extra is. Most of us think of these as like quantity items, though like an oven is one, right? If I wanted to, I could associate this to an exact QuickBooks item. I don't think we've set up oven in our QuickBooks file, but we could do that if we wanted to get very granular there. We could have a, a price calculation as either a percentage of the job or a flat amount. Um, so price of 35 bucks, whether it's included in the technician payout or not. So someone was asking about like trip charges. Um, Heather, are you on the call today? So you could create something like a trip charge here, and it could be something that's not included in the, in the technician payout. So let's say you charge, you know, for every, um, you know, mile away that they are from the, from your office, uh, you could basically create some sort of trip charge and it's based on a flat amount and it's $5 per mile or something like that. And it wouldn't be paid to the technician. So there's a lot of power in what you can do with this, uh, with these add-ons, there's really, really no limit to, to your imagination on this stuff here. So time calculation, whether it's flat amount, uh, and then a time, I'm sorry, price calculation, time calculation, they can be de decoupled, displayed for office, displayed online. And then if you have something that's required, um, it'll just be added on to the uh, base fee automatically for your online booking. A reason to do like a, like a required would be like, uh, again, in, instead of giving them a quote for a deep clean and recurring service for online, you might do that when you're doing a, a phone call, but for online booking, you might wanna keep it simpler and just do it as an add-on. Um, it would just allow you to have that kind of simplicity. So you can add a tooltip, again, an icon, ribbon text, ribbon color, uh, change the name of it. All of that for online is available as an option. So. I'm going to select an oven here as a as an icon. Let's see. Boom, save. And now on our online booking, if I've gone, I haven't gone to that page. Uh, if, if we're on that page and we're looking at the extras, that would have an icon on it. We can add the help text, so forth and so on to help make the sale uh, a little smoother, a little easier for people to understand what choices they're making. So the final thing here is discounts and promos. Um, every, again, these, these are set for each scope that you're creating. So uh, these extras are unique to this particular cleaning type. Same thing with discounts and promos. So um, I recommend if you're gonna use promos for online, you, you think of the way that you name them as online friendly, like first responder here is all kind of one word, save $20. You don't have to do that, but it makes it easier for people that are used to using promo codes to use them. Um, in your office, these would just be a drop down choice that they can apply. Uh, and again, you can have recurring discounts now as well. So you can create a discount here. Um, it can either be one time or recurring. Uh, you can send it to an exact QuickBooks item how it's calculated, whether it's a flat amount or a percentage, whether it's displayed for office or online, all of that is available as a choice. And then every, to get, again, to get really into the weeds of how you guys quote, you can have questions that you have offer on for, you know, whether it's online quoting or in the office, you can display different, different questions. Um, you might not ask online how many uh, floors the house is. That doesn't, that might not matter to you. Uh, or if you really want that detail, it can be captured. How many people are in your household? All of that can be either online or offline. Uh, using the DIRT code, you can put that online or offline. So there's a lot of choice that you can have as you're setting this up. Um, 
my my preference is probably for online turn off as much of this as possible that you that you don't need and make your your online choices to what's facing the consumer as simple as possible 